This is... I got an echo in my headphones now. Hmm. Anyway, this will be fun. Uh, this is Flash Somebody at 20% off Take 2. I had a little um, connection problem with my thing. I thought it was connected properly. It was not. So we're running a little behind, about 11 minutes tonight. Opening up 20% for your evening entertainment. <clears throat> ha ha. Anyway, this is Flash. 20% off. RealLibertyMedia.com And I'll say hi to the bots and the bodies in the chat room. It's my usual place to uh, just to chitter-chatter and see what's going on. We got Barman, Cowboy Tick. Am I live again? Ew. Let me check on here before I continue. Uh, let me see. They're talking about dead people. Did it work this time? Oh. Because there's a delay on the on the chat between the radio. Anyway, I'll just continue and hope everything worked. Ah, Vinny says we got me. Okay, so we're at um, uh, Grimner Moose Girl, um, Brackets DC, Asmo, Chloe, Chow Sedoni, Chloe, Echelon, me, Gooberzilla, Graham Z, Ivy Don C, Meister Brow, Kate, the dog crew is here. Oh, we got Rain, RLM, Fluke, Rob Works, The Bubbler, Romes, Vinny, Ver Verifiable, Phantom, Beatles, Cyborg, Noodle, Dakota, Frumpt, Frumpy, Gromit, Java, Doctor, Two, Jays, Nines, Jays, Kozu, Ninson, Dubois, Poxified, Poxphone, Ponsa, Sock Puppet, Skittle, Uno, and Yawa. Well, thanks. Moose is giving me the thumbs up. So, I've been having trouble just doing the simplest of things on the internet lately. It's almost like um, uh, maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, I I wasn't worried about. It. I'm using the uh, the Windows crap tonight, and it it's not a bad system or it's easy to work. It's the intrusion of Windows always doing things to the computer that, and you know, I'm I'm easily upset by absolutely nothing. Now, how's the volume? Am, am I loud enough for um, any kind of distortions or anything like that? Let me know, because I'm trying to work up to using the Linux by myself, but I can't seem to do that yet. So I'm gonna have a. <clears throat> I got my wife gonna learn how to use it then she can help me use it. There you go. So, anyway. Tonight, the thing, I think, the, I was watching a guy on uh, on Lynx today. His name is Jerry Day. There's a, two Jerry's. One's off BitChute. I'll just call him Jerry off BitChute. And uh, then this other fellow, he's a gray-haired, uh, straight-laced-looking intellectual well spoken and he just bashes every part of society that I've ever heard bashed and he does a good job now we're stuck in this uh, electronic crap right and we're all well what's real and what ain't you know, anymore they can make a link make anything look true they can fool whoever they want to fool into believing whatever the, the game is at the time and I think we all know that. Some of us don't. All right. Not everybody knows it. But it's not a secret. It's, uh... Okay, thanks, Grimner. Thank you, Moose Girl. I wasn't sure because uh, I'm getting a little echo in my headphones. And I adjusted the volume and it, it went down. The volume went down, but the echo stayed. It's just a split-second delay in my headphones. So it's kind of fun. Anyway... All this, uh, I was talking about Jerry Day and breaking down these, the social explanations about banking and politics and police and what these things once were and then what the law turned them into over the last 150 years or so. 
and it's not a popular topic. Uh, people don't they don't do much with the knowledge that they get that exposes all this crap is what it truly is. All we can really do is get on the internet and complain to each other and you know get schooled by the guy that voted for pot to be legal because it's going to help the tax situation. You know, and then they can park their car for free. I don't know. It's, it just strikes me that the illusion is, it's the illusion. It's all around all of us. We all see the same damn illusion. It's not like, or maybe that is the problem, is that we don't all see the same exact thing. You know, you see what you see. Mm. This is probably going to be a rerun. And I see what I see. And then we argue about the details. And we never agree because we can't see what the other person saw. And all you have left is words trying to explain all this stuff, right? And where do you start? Ooh. Yeah, well, the first thing you can say is, hmm, I think there's trouble in Denmark. And then people would say, well, it's a damn good thing I don't live in Denmark, huh? <laughs> and all these other, you know, misdirections to uh, to distract us from following the truth, whatever the truth is in your, you know, your personal thing, to spend the time it takes to, first off, you got to find it. Know what it is. Know what you're looking for. Then you got to find it. Then you have to identify it. And the only thing I can't find a universal way to do is to apply it. Because and that's the part where we're different. You know, We're all the same in so many fucking ways. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you come down to the details. That's what I call them. The, the details. Because details give you the illusion that things aren't the same. But it's not blue, it's green. Yeah, well, it's still a color, ain't it? Details, detail, you know. <laughs> it may sound a little kind of far-fetched on, you know, on the surface, but I've seen the ocean, sometimes it's green. I've seen the ocean, sometimes it's blue. So, what the fuck, you know? It's all a matter of the time and the place and the day and the... Let me make sure I don't sit on my what you call it here, do something insane, like pull out my cord. <clears throat> okay. Well, anyway, let me find something interesting to, uh, oh, the watch your language thing. Hmm. Vinny's on, he's on something about guarding your words on the internet. Uh, probably more, he's speaking of like Facebook and Twitter Places where they can ban you or uh, shun you, put you on a naughty kid's list and kick you off in the corner. Because, you know, that's what free people do is they prohibit, they ban. They don't boycott. That would be using their money. And, you know, intelligent, smart people don't waste their time boycotting by not purchasing a sit, you know, thing or product. No. Let the poor people boycott. I need my Diet Coke. Uh, and for anybody out there that really believes that the POTUS dump is drinking Coca-Cola, if he is, he's dumber than I think. I mean, a billionaire, and that's the best he can do. Diet Coke, huh? Whew. I think people are just easy to convince um, of the most stupid shit. Anyway, where was I at on my rantings this evening? Hmm. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm a foreigner now in a in a foreign country, and uh, I read horrible things on the internet every freaking day about other countries. Not necessarily the one I'm in. And even the shit I read about this place, it's so minuscule compared to what I've been raised with, you know, what I endured in my lifetime. This place is a 
retirement village. <clears throat> Their idea of excitement is a freaking football game. And football is soccer, not not that American shit that they do. And I'm not so sure this crap ain't as rigged as American crap is. I don't I don't care for either. I'm not a big sports fan. I know some of you guys are. But, you know, there's sports fans and there's people that just take it too far. And I think the most of the, the sports fans on the RLM are just, hey, I like the game. It's on tonight. Watch it. And that's it. It's what you hear. You don't hear them talking about it for three hours. Here. <laughs> you don't read. Hey, there's Vincent. Vincent has come back as Vinny. Yeah, I'm on a drought tonight. The weather here for the last couple of weeks has been <clears throat> chilly. You know, I've been reading about Moose and Mary. And, you know, people that are uh, mental pancakes. And probably anybody in Canada. Frumpy. Who else is in Canada? Hmm. I'm not real sure about where everybody lives, but I've got the gist of it's been a cold winter. Now here it's been normal. Nothing specifically uh, unusual about it. Just a few cold days here and that's about it. So I guess wherever I go, God just likes me to be happy. <laughs> Couldn't you imagine if I went all Jesus freak on you guys and started saying that and meant it? Because I got a theory about it, but it's not popular. <clears throat> oh, come on. Grimner, a billionaire that would eat garbage like that on purpose. Oh. No, even when I drank Coke and ate McDonald's, I knew it was junk food. There's no, no nutritional value at all. Just something to freaking eat so you don't die. But not... It's not good for you like to go out and do a day's work. That wouldn't fuel you worth a shit. But, yeah, well, it's all this. My sister-in-law drinks Coke. I cringe whenever I see it. But I smoke cigarettes. So, in the balance, you know. Uh, if, she, if she hasn't heard the bad side of Coke from her sister in her lifetime, then she's not listening. So, hmm. You know, these these are the decisions that we we make. And some of them are, um, depending on what you've been taught, I think is the right word. You know, or if you believe the hospitals and the doctors and know what they tell you. Oh, he's got this and oh, he's got that. Well, where's the proof of all this? Well, it's right here in the chart that you can't read because you're not a doctor. Because when I tried to read my chart, my doctor went completely insane. Had a heart attack right in front of me. Thought he was going to croak, but he didn't. Anyway, so what he did was he says, Well, if you want to read your medical records, you have to sign this paper. and da -da. So I did all the crap he told me to do. The next visit, he comes in. I'm reading my thing. He says, You can't do that. <laughs> So no matter what I did, this idiot always found a reason for me to be breaking his rules, whatever they were that day. And I started to smell a rat back then. You know, I mean, I think I knew from the beginning because I took a look at the guy and, and I told my friend, I said, this guy can't help me. Look at him. He's, he's a bigger mess than I am. And as history has shown me, I was right. But... How do you, uh, see, most of us don't just follow our instincts and our nose and do whatever we please at any given time, you know. The only thing in, in life that I feel that I have is my promise, you know, like the money that we use. It's a promissory note that whoever you hand this to is going to get whatever they're looking for. But the it's a chain. It just the promise just goes on and on and on and on and on, and just like marriage, that you know, promise can end any any damn time. Somebody could change their mind and go, "Hey, what the fuck?" Now, 
I don't think that's where me and Cirque are, but I've been in situations before that were like that, where people grew and decided that, hmm, I want to chase this, not that. And given other people freedom to, uh, to do the horrible things that they do, and just walk away from it, <clears throat> I guess it sounds like it's impossible. <clears throat> but the good side of all this is my Danish wife did at least uh, meet my brother, you know, and hear me and my mom chattering over the phone over the time that she was uh, still around. And uh, so there's witnesses to my my history being what I said it was to her and what I say it is on the radio. Oh, in your face and shit. Ooh. Damn, is that me? Oh, Captain Clint. Who's Captain Clint? Now, I got to go back up here and read. Now, I can't do the radio and chat at the same time. I'm not good like Mary. Oh, and Mary sounds 100%. And I also heard <clears throat> that Grimner's got somebody coming over trying to get a, a spot that Mary was filling. And she said, hey... I'm cool with an hour show. Let's negotiate. I heard her say that the other, uh, I guess, y yesterday or today. So we've got, you know, people that are looking. And I told you a long time ago, I didn't think the public was, uh, they're not desperate enough. They're, there's too much reality out there to see for them to miss it. So it, they're probably seeing it and discarding it as garbage. Whatever political side or religious side, they go, oh, that's just them trying to make us not trust our leaders or whatever crap they tell each other. It's insane, and it's the same thing on both sides. No matter what side you're on, you're still... <clears throat> Uh-oh, I see people talking about voting on the reallibertymedia.com chat. Wow. Voted for that motherfucker you know there's so much it's so simple when you really sit down and think about it it's just hard to uh, accept it i think to accept that the people that are in charge of the major decisions that rule your our collective lives that they're all a bunch of lion thieves every freaking one of them and there's plenty of proof of that comment and that's not just by you know me accusing i mean look at all the corruption that's been exposed and punished in the government and how far it goes back what do you need to know <clears throat> what is an honest government anyway if you think about it if you define government the words don't mean what we were taught they meant they mean something more ominous Hmm, something deeper, you know, something that, hmm, if you dare to go against it, the one that goes against it is the bad guy. And, uh, what do you call that? Group think or hmm, mob rule, democracy, there you go. And, uh, they've said for, uh, 200 and something years, we're giving you a republic, if you can keep, you can, um, not lose it basically because <clears throat> there's no democracy in a republic that democracy is mob rule that's what we have and as a you know as a general in the western side of the planet or whatever the fuck it is we got these um, groups of ingenious motherfuckers that are trying to kill all of us at the same time And that is when they're not killing each other or not bombing someplace into smithereens. What would these people do? And there's a, here's an interesting thing. I found a, a link on, I think it was Mines the other day or somewhere. Anyway, woman is calling for a strike on spending on the 11th. That's next Monday, I think. Let me take a look at my calendar, be pop positive about this one 
probably t spot on the wrong day like usual. No, I think I'm right on this one for a change. But anyway, I put a link up on uh, realliberty.org about it. <clears throat> now, the public doesn't understand, like what Mary's always com always talking about. <clears throat> Sorry, Mary, but you do. And it's good because people don't really seem to get it. The power of your dollar spending, that has a lot of pull. Lots of pull. So what this group or whatever entity they are, are trying to attempt is to shut down your spending on the 11th. Don't go anywhere. Don't spend any money. Do just stay home. Call it a day. Take a day off from society. And I'm telling you, she's right. Whoever, the well, I saw a female. Anyway, the, the point I'm sticking with is if enough of us did it, they would listen to us. But that's not how things work. That's what the Super Bowl shit's all about. They get you in a big group, so you think you got a lot of power, and you got nothing. You're just a another another body. There's no not even a voice to you. Oh, and then the, and that kind of depressing shit always makes me remember about how they stripped uh, the states of their damn rights with that 9/11 garbage. And to this day, there's still people that believe the official story and go oh, the United States and Israel could never do a horrible thing like that. Well, they've been doing horrible things like that for a long time. They've got it down to a science. They know how to blame the victim and then have you go in there and blame the victim after they blame the victim and support it and pay for it. Whoa, it's not even believable. Hmm. Then it gets worse. The more you you look into this social crap that we've managed to get involved in, um, the deeper... The well, I guess it just—it's like a bottomless pit, and they just throw all your money into it, and give you as little as possible back for your investment, and uh, call you free. And they throw that free word around like it's got a meaning. It doesn't none of us really, because at any given time, authority, whatever it is, can come down and swoop on you. And there you are, surrounded by the man. What are you going to do? Shoot your way out? I mean, come on. We've seen too many freaking TV shows. The cops have had, what, 40 years of TV to drum into the public's head that they don't need warrants, that they don't have to be respectable, that they can kick your door in at will and shoot your dog and your kid, destroy your fucking house and have the wrong address and that's just life, people. What you going to do? Sue us? So, uh, the mess that I left behind is, uh, well, it's 50 times bigger than the mess I'm in. See? So, that, it's not the country that you live in. It's the population you live in. Because uh, Scotland was fairly much the same. People, eh, they were a little bit inbred and a little ertsy snertsy about their Scottish, you know, heritage and all that. Very afraid of outsiders ruining their home and all that kind of stuff. Took them a while to figure out as is they were trying to help my mom. They thought I was there to, you know, overthrow the kingdom or something. Hmm. Anyway, well, see, I have all these negative opinions about people based on their political beliefs and behaviors. And people do behave that way. That's, that's society. That's what you do. You know, if you're a law-abiding citizen of your little area, your little area has little things that they do little ideas and words and in some countries you never know what the fuck they're saying because they're talking in their own little slang or jibber jabber everybody does that to a degree if you live small enough you get 
I don't know, you're bound differently somehow. I think it's uh, the lack of more people around you makes life different. The less people you're around, the easier. You might have to work a little harder to, to get you know necessities together, but it's still a smaller. The small places are the better ones. Hmm. And well, I was talking to Cirque. She never heard of Francis Farmer. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that are on the Real Liberty Media that have. They know exactly, when I say the name Frances Farmer, they know exactly who she was. They might even know how, what happened to her. But it's another one of those buried celebrity stories from what? It's either the 40s or the early 50s in the United States, Hollywood. California, home of the fucked up Jew, baby. Let me tell you, I don't know, jeez, <laughs> I was, uh, I got that Netflix still, so I was, I seen Batman today, wasn't that Batman, what is it called, Gotham, it's a takeoff of how Batman and all this, came. anyway, I'm addicted to my soap operas just like everybody else to a point, but when I watch them, some part of my mind never loses it and doesn't realize I'm watching a bunch of actors pretending to be this or that, no matter what the film is. You know, scary horror is still actors on the stage. Ah, look, they're imitating life. So I can watch the show and then hear the social engineering that's coming through that doesn't affect me like it affects other people. And one of the things uh, I got really pissed off this morning is one of the RLMers types in boldface print for the whole damn room to see. I don't trust any women, blah, 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 something like that. That was the gist of it. And so I'm watching the Batman thing. And when I watch, I watch like eight, nine shows in a row while I'm doing other things, catch parts, miss parts. And it, the the storyline this season leads up to the division, men against women. Just like what society's doing. You know, divide and conquer, split you up. So, what me and Cirque did is we formed a partnership. Okay. And then... You know, so that we would have no um, legal ramifications because it involved the two different countries. We did what the state wanted us to do, but we already did that before the state expected it. You know, anyway, we we made our decisions and then we, we did our things so that the legalities would be all straight and proper. And as much as it rubs me raw to, you know, to bow to the to the master and do all that shit I did <laughs> so you know just like everybody else out there some people it's a driver's license with me it was a passport and uh, traveling I mean there, there's no such thing as freedom because you got to apply and let people know and you know this that and the other one thing to the next and I was listening to this new well he's not new he's new to me because I just found a link I probably seen him a year or two back and just uh there was so much going on I didn't have time and now I got plenty of freaking time this winter so I was listening to Mr. Jerry Day talk and it was like listening to myself from a intellectual standpoint you know some guy with a sheepskin and you know clean haircut and a shave and all that crap and he's up there pitching his uh He's pitching his version of truth, and he was getting into things like uh, jury nullification. I um, mean, if you know what jury nullification is already, then you get the idea where this this man goes with his links. And I don't think he's doing very good. Twenty thousand hits on YouTube, I saw. Could be bigger, but I don't know. How to, Vinny knows how to. I guess you got to be an admin to see the real numbers, something like that. Anyway, so, because it's kind of hard to get my attention at this point in life with news, you know. So, news isn't so much what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is delivery, 
so that if there's a tough topic and you're having you know struggles with it maybe this guy could tell you what he thinks about it you might understand him a little better you know this is a network and we're not here to be all hey dig me i'm cool we're here to tell you this shit's real <laughs> you know i know rob says every day eh, any day now but yeah this is new from rob rob hasn't been doing that since i met him you know, i've known him for a few years on the real liberty media and i don't think he's a oh a conspiracy theory crackpot wackadoodle no i think he's like me just wants to get along in this life but the reality of it is the people that run things don't they want us all fighting amongst each other ourselves it'll save them the trouble of deploying the tanks and the AF what's that the ATF and the FBI and the CIA to come out and get you because you might be armed with military style guns we got videotape we seen him talking to John the gunslinger the other day look at the picture right there and whether it's true or not all people have to do back home now is uh, an anonymous call to the authority can get John Smith in trouble up to his eyeballs because you don't like him hmm so, I mean, that is if, in fact, what I read on the interwebs about my ex-homeland is true. Like, a uh, couple was supposedly dealing heroin, blah, blah, blah. So the cops went there, plain clothes. Uh, what would I guess they called, Vinny called it a knock warrant or some bullshit game they play now. Where they just knock, come in all plain clothes. So anyway, they didn't even, even knock. They were in the house, apparently. So the couple shot four of them, but they killed both of the couple. So, interesting. And then all we got at the end of the day is the cops said so. Because we all know what happens to the video equipment when it doesn't look good. It disappears oh gee it didn't work somebody jammed the witchahoochee with the thingamabobber and whoa no video oh grimner's got a few words to say to the real liberty media.com group and that's i'm the conspiracy theory crackpot wackadoodle flash somebody yeah well i don't think that's the bad side of the coin that's i'm the fringe most shit in reality your your average voter football fan better than you prick doesn't come near me you kidding what for i don't you know <laughs> i don't go out of my way to attract stupid in real life in real life is just so nice you know that's where you get to go out there and you know, just look at stuff and enjoy what, what what there is left of time for me to be here. You know, because crying out loud, I mean, I'm not so much thinking about uh, life and death and all that crap, but shit happens. You never know what's going to happen next in life. I'm sitting here in Denmark, and, and it doesn't mean that every moment of my life is gonna turn into a wild extravaganza it just i i know it could <laughs> it's it's a recipe and if you don't use certain ingredients in a recipe then the recipe won't happen the way it should that in a sense too doesn't mean it won't because life is very unpredictable then again on the other hand sometimes like how i've gotten out life is very predictable but <laughs> I don't, it's a it's like a like a paradox you know you know it could change but it doesn't so hmm it's like voting oh yeah I voted for the guy that won oh goody 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 how do you know that all you know is they told you the guy won <laughs> do you know how he won <laughs> do you know what he won <laughs> it's not pretty hmm. and and uh 
to look up to these lion sacks of shit that burn you with every breath they take and, and do everything they can legally to just destroy us as a group, you know? If we're not fighting about um, rights, men's rights, women's rights, abortion rights, uh, it's just nonsense. It's stupid. But we're not taught that. We're taught quite the opposite. Only intelligent, modern people abort children. No, no, you don't go to like to the jungle and find, hey, Joaquin's abortion clinic out in the middle of nowhere. No, you got to go to civilization for that shit, baby. That's where they do that good stuff. And see, then people will take it to a religious premise or a right and wrong premise. And I don't know. I think uh, I think it was shoved in her face. We were forced to deal with it. It was uh, promoted by all the right people. Boy, oh, you talk about a game. Socially, we're steered into directions to go in. Just follow this leader. He'll show you where to go. And, you know, they, they did a good job with Obama. Look at the mess he got us into. Mm. Plus the mess that he inherited from the idiot before him who inherited something else from the, and so on. Wow, it's just like a never-ending chain of, what do you call it? I call it misery. I haven't seen any improvement in my homeland ever since I was a child. It's always progressively gotten worse. When I was, like, whatever, seven to eight years old, go to the store with 25 cents... And I was the king. I had a quarter. And I could get me my soda pop. And I could get me my candy bar. And I'd have change. Then I could take the bottle back for a refund. <laughs> and, you know, that's at eight years old. Commerce. You know, make the most of what you have. And there was always ways to create money. Then as the years flowed on, the government got more intrusive in how you acquired your money. They wanted to know every fucking dollar you make, where it came from, who paid you, what color their hair was. Did they give you a reach around? You know, because the entertainment tax must be paid. Oh, Vinny's putting up comply or die. Well, it's true, in a sense, you know. Because, uh, I can't explain how life is for me without it sounding uh, kind of outrageous. Because if you've ever had a partner that you clicked with, you get it. And if you haven't had a partner or you don't want a partner, that's then you, you can't understand what I, my side of what I talk about, I don't think. I think it's one of those experienced... If you've had an experience, then you go, oh, yeah, I remember that. And like I said in the first place, you know, you never know when things are going to change. But some people, you kind of know that no matter what, they're not going to. Like, uh, hmm, I don't know what to compare it to. I guess a relative, you know, because you're stuck with your relatives. You're, you can't fire your relatives. You can move away from your relatives you not talk to them, but they're still relatives. And when you see face-to-face, -face, well, that changes the whole game from no matter if you're on bad terms or not. If you see your relatives, they always go, hey, what the hell are you doing? And you work things out. But we've got this electronic world that's intervened. We used to do everything nose-to-nose. -nose. You, know, you meet me at so-and-so at 9 o'clock or whatever. And... Then they got phones involved and all that shit. Then you could call to see if your whoever you were supposed to be was where they were supposed to be meeting you. And life got a little bit more intrusive because I like my privacy. You know, uh, I got a cell phone and I never carry the damn cell phone 
I should every more, you know, maybe more often than I do. I don't say never, rarely, like uh, maybe five times in a month, I'll remember to pick the damn thing up and put it in my pocket. But to use it, the only person I'm going to call on a phone is Cirque. I'm, I've got internet. I don't need to call anybody on earth on a cell phone except my wife. And then I've... <laughs> I don't even hardly do that. I think I call her about once every two months from the store because I forgot something. Or uh, I want to get something and I, I don't know what it's called in Danish. <laughs> so she gives me a hand with that kind of stuff. But still, once every couple of months for a cell phone is like, uh, people think I'm a relic. Because everybody's got a cell phone. Chick, chick, they always wander around town. They're playing games and they're texting and they're whatever they're doing on their things there's a lot of it and somehow that appeal never latched on to me I was because uh, this stuff is it's bad for us you know we all know that my mirror talks to me of course oh hey you know what you brought something up real quick here I'm going to change gears in the middle of a thought and because I talked about this before if you uh if you ever want to find the answer to life, grab a mirror and look at your eyes. <laughs> There's something in your own eye that it's just amazing. You know, it's like watching one of those TV movies or you know where they go into space. You can do all kinds of stuff with your imagination, you know. But it, I don't try to control mine. I let mine control me probably taking it too far in life but i'm so deep in in it now that t to try to force a change would be uh it'd be tragic i wouldn't i wouldn't be whatever i am i'd have to be somebody different nah it's too much work so i just follow my ideas and see where they go and you know like with Cirque, found a good idea it's comfortable so boom i uh, i do not understand why you know, if, if you're if you're single and you're out there and you're happy that way, that's one thing. But if you're angry at the other gender, or you know, you gotta you gotta uh, a bean up your nose about spending a little money on a female or something like that. I don't know. It just sounds like a lot of crap. But uh, I think partnerships are probably way better than doing things alone. I did things alone for a few years and. They they weren't as um, they were freer, but they weren't as successful. And it's I'm one of those people. It just feels better in life uh, being connected to somebody. Now maybe it's a curse. I don't know. I found the right female for it though. Cirque's good with being attached. I don't um, I don't know, but we're uh, we're not the I don't not the um, average couple. You know. Uh, <laughs> wow I don't know I've my mind's just jumping all over the place tonight because I'm trying to figure out you know how to explain to people that uh, I'm a foreigner now you know I've been a foreigner for seven years and it's not so bad I would recommend this to anybody if you haven't been a foreigner that you should go try it and then you could enjoy your debt and toxins and uh, get a good interpreter and not have to be bothered with what people are saying. You know, like the internet, just read the read the headlines. Become a, an expert. <laughs> and then, you could, then in a foreign country, you could go shopping for some rights because you wouldn't be bound by the, what is that? Is it the NDAA now? They've changed the Patriot Act a few times. It's been updated for your safety and security, you lucky voters. Man, how can so many people fuck this up so badly? I I guess <laughs> because of the uh, what's wrong? the information available to us, right? We know as a collective that what is going on is horribly wrong. There's no two ways about that because both sides will bitch about the other side. Okay. Well, if 
that's the other side. What's it the other side of? Yeah, it's right, Rob. I'm a furner. But it's the other side of the same thing. It's no different. You're just looking at one color. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's right. I'd be a real alien from America living in Denmark, my friend. And they ain't two people in this town that give a flying fuck. They just wave and smile. It's just a nice, comfortable place. The neighbors are cool. Everybody just does what they do, and we tolerate each other. It's not. <laughs> it's it's not America. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> way different. Anyway updated every year see now I don't know what they got here but uh, whatever they do to Danes Cirque comes and goes as she pleases and travels on the train and goes in and out the country on business and she's never impeded by anything uh, I've never heard her come home and complain uh, about anything police did to her I did I did have her come home one day. She says the the security guard on the train was giving somebody grief and it was wrong. And she said, and I got right in the middle of this shit. There you go. And I don't doubt it, but you know, the police don't bother her. <laughs> she bothers the police. And the police, they actually listened to her side of what she was complaining about. And the guy that did it still had an attitude, but it went to his supervisor guy. And they actually found a, an answer that suited everybody, whatever it was. I can't remember the details of it at this point. Just that it happened. But now me, I, I wouldn't bother. You got problems with the police. That's that's your problem. Because when I ever I've had problems with the police, there was nobody there for me. So I never learned that <clears throat> that giving kind of shit that circle do. Fuck that, man. You got problems with the law. I'm going to Spain. <laughs> Whatever the other way is, or wherever that problem's at. Uh, some people will call that cowardice now. <clears throat> But I call it survival. Because uh, the way things have changed electronically and the things that you find out on the internet are so devastating. For example, the key to staying out of the uh, tax structure and paying income tax and all that, learning the exemption, uh, it's all been taken away. You can't do that anymore. The Admiralty Court doesn't recognize the law as a defense against this rumor that there's a law it's very confusing i don't even know how to explain it but i guess i could try with this <clears throat> 20 to 30 years ago there are cases on the books guy went into the case, to the court and said well this is an income blah 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 they worked it out said no it's not then they upgrade the law so what was an income yesterday is income tomorrow. And this is what we live with, you know, this uh, improvement. And we've been had. They, If they told the truth, they wouldn't have 8 million laws. They'd have 10 laws. It's all you need. 10, maybe not even 10, maybe 5. Hey, maybe not even 5, maybe just 1. Tell the truth. If you don't lie, then everything in your life will work out just fine and if it doesn't it's not because you lied it's because somebody else did the core of all our trouble is based on the inability to live in the truth <sighs> that being said you know we've got a an FBI that's supposed to be investigating Trump or Trump investigating the FBI or I don't know. These guys are playing grab ass and they're laughing at us. Look, they really think this is real. Oh, this is fun. Drinking themselves into a coma. And here we sit. Oh, the Russians did this. Oh, Trump did that. No, he didn't. These are stories that are told to us by people we don't know. 
thousand miles away while they poison the resources and write laws to make it legal. And that's where we sit. I know, I've said it a million times. I feel like moose. You know, you get to a point and you go, wow. Hmm. I'm a repetitive dunderhead. Oh, Lord, what am I going to do? But telling the truth is never going to be hmm, popular. <laughs> Attractive. <laughs> <laughs> comfortable I don't know I could find a word <clears throat> or two <clears throat> now they're doing all kinds of trading and advertising on the reallibertymedia.com mm. oh yeah and the top of the hour here and I'm going to interrupt myself for a Grimner reallibertymedia.com break that's right. Grimner is doing his annual fundraiser to drag some money out of all of us RLM peeps to keep the game alive. <clears throat> so like I always say, if you got a few bucks and you can help, help. And if you don't, do what you can, you know. Chat in the room, do a radio program. I don't pick up garbage along the side of the road. Don't be a slug. Don't be a what? And let's see what's that line. Uh, the real liberty media is the artery of the internet. Don't be a clot. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Well, so we got some chitters. We got some chatters on the RLM tonight. I just wanted to do that. Uh, the yearly fundraiser update so that we could have people sending Graham money so the servers don't go down. And that's the end of that. Thank you for your patience. Well, <laughs> anyway, uh, they're just playing around with photos and having a little chat on the reallibertymedia.com. And if you pick up the show on what, Spreaker, BitChute, it's real. Real Liberty Media has got uh, a lot of entertaining things on it. There's plenty of radio to look at on here beside me. There's Grim and Moose. There's Miss Mary and Vincent. Um, we've had a few people come and go over the time because, uh, well, some of us are, re are registered anarchist scum. That's right, bottom of the barrel. We don't like rules. We don't like regulation. We don't like being told what to do. We don't like being called bad names unless they fit. You know, like pothead. Yeah, I smoke the pot. Yeah, I do. But you know what I don't do? Is I don't do illegal pharmaceuticals. You know that uh, drugs are bad for you. And if it wasn't for the government bullshit, uh, cannabis wouldn't be a drug. It's, it's a plant. Uh, there's plenty of plants that are drugs that aren't on the, what do you call it, the schedule of shit you can't have. <clears throat> there's plenty of poisons you can grow all you like. Police won't do nothing about that. But just grow one pot plant. And all of a sudden, you're the enemy of the state. And you, you're a big troublemaker. Yeah. Okay, he says, uh, this is a Grimner message to me. Flash, we got enough to cover the server costs for the year. But... Other costs arise throughout the year, so a little extra never hurts. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm completely aware of that. Uh, hold on one second here. Oh, I haven't lost my mind. I know about inflation. I know about fiat currency, but we're in the game, you know? If you're going to be in a game... At least know how to play.
play the damn thing. You just don't need to wear a uniform. You don't have to be uh, in the lineup. There's other jobs to play the game. No. Not everybody needs to be the, like the center of the world. Eh? Some people like to sit back and go, blame him. I didn't do nothing. It's not my fault. <laughs> that would be me. Thank you very much. Regist yeah, I know. Wasn't that funny? I'm a registered, card-carried anarchist. I mean, what is wrong with people? they get so lame that they'll ask somebody that isn't an anarchist what an anarchist is. That's like asking me what a Catholic is. Well, I don't know. It's ask a Catholic, right? Or what is a Republican? Hmm, well, then you start walking on razor blades trying to get out of the conversation. But what do you say? If you're an anarchist-minded thinker, I don't fucking know what a Republican is. I do know this. They're dangerous. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust my children alone around a sitting public official in a suit and, you know, good shoes and all that haircut and manicured bullshit get that fucker away from my kid you know for one i'm a man if i'm gonna go through all that shit to impress somebody it ain't gonna be a nine-year-old girl <laughs> so something is wrong with the grown man that puts his nose to the nose of the little girl that he is not related to you know what i mean and even then it's a little strange but uh, that's okay. That's what we got, people. And then they use all this crap to uh, instill. It's a, it's a fear porn. Now they got this new, I mean, this child trafficking sex with goats and all this crap, bloodletting and all this ritual. And now everybody in government is guilty of fucking a 10-year-old kid. <sighs> okay, well, here's my problem. If you can make that accusation at all, and it's not completely ignored and washed away immediately, why not? Well, I came to the decision that the people in charge want that shit in our face. There's nothing that we know that we can do to get rid of them. They're there. They're our leaders. They take good care of their sheep. So, hmm. Well, there's this little group in France that's not buying into that. And they're the working class. They only got time to uh, protest on the weekends because they work during the work week. They're calling themselves the Yellow Vests. Now, I have not seen any Yellow Vests, but I have seen links on the interweb. Mm. And if the links on the interweb are true, the government wants to arm the police militarily to fight nonviolent protesters. And they're killed they've killed 10 to date that i've read so far now sure riots bring a little bit of violence and all that shit looks real interesting and fun on tv but how many dead cops none 10 dead civilians and this isn't slowing it down either these people are still they're going to work and then sunday saturday comes around i forget what day it is now and I think it's Saturday. And then, but they plan and they tell the government what they're going to do. And then, of course, the government does all its government intrusion shit and tries to fuck it up. And the mainstream's not carrying it. So if you're interested in the civilities of the parasites in Paris, then I would recommend that you check it out. It's kind of interesting. It's sad that we're always at war and always threatening war. Fight, 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 fight. And here I sit, and I can't think of anything in life uh, that I can imagine fighting to have or to, 
to protect what, what? Cirque from who? You know, you. Hmm. My belief system is proven over and over that you know, if you uh, put yourself in certain certain situations in life, possibilities of these things will happen go up astronomically with the population. The lower the population, the less likely of problems with society. But, hmm, I can't prove it. Because, you know, they had the Super Bowl a couple of weeks ago, or was it a week ago? And millions of people didn't kill each other over losing and winning a football game. So, see, society works. You know, but those nasty Asians and Africans down there in Africa, Asia land, they need to be bombed into the fucking Stone Age, man. They're, they're dangerous. Look at all the shit they do. They're, uh, they, uh, hmm. Well, you know, then there was the time when they, uh, well, I'm not really sure what they do, but I'm American by God, and they did something. Why would we be bombing the fuck out of them if they didn't do anything? That's the... <clears throat> that is the warmonger chant of 20 and 19. I have spoken for them. Uh, ha ha. Yeah, I know. But, um... It's a touchy subject, this war shit. And I've seen a lot more people on the Real Liberty Media that are not for it than are for it and uh it's sad that it goes on because it's always like the the majority of people that you speak with about hey you know this thing's happened over here oh that's not good you never hear hey well never again with never you got that warmonger guy or gal or a couple of them maybe maybe a few they gather in little clusters you know and uh they're like a pack of dogs. They're useless alone, so they join together. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got my old equipment back, and I know how to use it, by God, so I can mute when I hit my pipe too hard, baby. Anyway, what do we got going on in life that's good? That's not happening just to me. I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm sure that, uh, like, my buddy Mental Pancakes, well, he's always in a good mood when me and Cirque talk with him. Run into him on the realliberty.org. I run into him on uh, minds.com every now and again. And uh, he's a weird and different kind of guy as far as uh, links. I don't know what how people judge each other, but the content of the shit they put up or the amount he's a he he what do you call that again when you, uh spammer when you throw 10 links up and in, in like five minutes and it takes an hour to get through them all and pancakes will do that once in a while sometimes you just throw up a lot of random pictures that tickle him or uh we meet him have a communication. He sends me certain stuff that he knows I like. And uh, we've gotten along. He came here to visit. He's a great guy. Met him on the internet. Big scary thing. Oh, I met him on the internet. It could be a killer. Ah. Everybody I've nose to nose met through internet has been exactly what they told me they were when I met him on the internet. Nobody has lied to me yet. I've managed to meet everybody that I needed to meet, so to speak, you know. And, wow, on the radio, I've had Miss Mary to, to Vinny. And everybody in the middle tried to, you know, I tried to get them on the dork table once or twice. Had Grim come to it. Um, Moose. <laughs> Solvener, when he was around, he would do radio with me. So, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of variety in this electronic world that you probably wouldn't catch you know we wouldn't meet each other in physical life the group the this vast now nah, you would have never how in the hell would i ever meet rob warwick's you know if it wasn't for the internet then again uh, how the hell would i have met hansel 
No, there's no way. See, it's the same thing. Our paths would probably not have crossed. But the difference is, Rob isn't insane. That was a that was a 20% off joke for all you jokers out there in real liberty media dot com land. Ha. Huh. Anyway. Ah oh, man, here we go. Let's see. LA was built by rats. Hmm. I don't know. I'm from LA, Rob. It's it's what it's become that yeah. Hmm. I saw the changes when they were being done, but when I was growing up, I didn't know what I was looking at. You know, took other people to excite to ask, what the fuck is all this shit happening? And most of the kids my own age just kind of avoided me and called me names. They didn't get it. But the teenagers, they were they were a little bit more helpful, and a lot of them had older brothers or sisters. And I got... Uh, Shit, by the time I was 13, I had 17, 18-year-old friends that visited me at my home and me at theirs. I mean, it wasn't just a down at the park and we had a smoke or a beer or whatever. This was, we were socially interacting and I was so little. It was funny. Looking back on it now, I, I see... I see it different through an adult size than I did when I was a kid because I never understood at the time Wow, my kid, you know, my age bracket, these kids can't talk, even talk to me. And when all the other kids, they think I'm all right. So um, that was my introduction to the dork table, about 12, you know, being pushed out of the uh, the peer group. Uh, you, you know, you, you go hang out with them. You, you don't belong here. <laughs> and, and luckily for me, uh, I'm not the type to worry about shit like that, you know. If it's time to go, it's time to go. And I go. And now I don't have to. <laughs> well, maybe now it's I don't want to. Have to is kind of a stretch. But uh, I don't know. We, we're we all bouncy tonight on the 20% off. I got some notes here. Let me look through and see what's... A little bit of stuff caught my mind. Oh, yeah, me and Vinny were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. The hypocrisy of a car that gets 20 or 30 miles to a gallon of gasoline when it's the design of the carburetor <laughs> and, and the design of the way the carburetor is used. And all these techie techie things that the mechanic crowd can get. Oh, yeah, I can fix that. Blah, 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 blah. And sure, you can make a car that runs on water if you know how to. But the problem is, is if you get popular, the government says that you're a threat to national security and you got to go. So uh, the inventing world has been just completely shut down. If you do anything that gets anywhere, government's going to either take it over and kill it and fuck it up or buy it and bury it and that's a good way to get rich mm. i remember telling goober you know if if i was chasing money i'd be like what would i do first i'd apply for grants to all the billionaires and i'd tell them i'm making a death ray and i'd scribble something on a piece of paper and this is my prototype and but for one million dollars i can guarantee you <laughs> in five years i'll have this baby running and capable of killing them all <laughs> and watch the check start flooding your bank account the zeros will never end and the proof to that is it is against the law to claim there is a cure because it goes against the shit that doesn't work. That's the bottom line of it. How do, how do you define that for somebody that's anal retentive that wants verifiable proof? Who would I send you to to see verifiable proof? Hmm. Well, I think there's so much of out, out, uh, truth to be found now that anybody could trip over it. It wouldn't be like you have to look for it. 
but the the key to the doorway is the ability to get past the uh, prejudice of the government they there's the government's our friend because you know, hmm. it's disappointing to say this but there's a lot of people that believe that <clears throat> now uh i didn't make that up i know it sounds like i'm just making shit up but no <sighs> and where do you start i guess you could start with the money and it, if you were a new person and you just found Rib liberty media right now just popped in i tell you to go over to youtube and type in this guy jerry day d-a-y like today and he's got links he's got they're not new so he's been around a bit but he's got some links and when you look at the guy He's not real impressive to look at. You don't expect much from him from his appearance. But if you listen to him talk, ah, then first thing that I I felt was, wow, this guy's not he's not taking any shit from anybody. He's very specific and clear about explaining the core of the fiat currency system and how the bankings run and the banking laws that they've changed since the last collapse that they're writing so that the next collapse they'll be protected from you you won't be protected from them so your money if you got money in a bank and you thinking you're all sitting there all fat and sassy Oh, well, read the banking laws and check it out. It's really insane. And uh, they got the enforcement to get away with it. They're the Fed. They control every damn thing. So what do you do? I'm going to fight up to my last breath. And that's the way that ends. So I've yet to see anybody fight the Fed and win. Everybody loses. I was whining about Al Capone the other week other night maybe <laughs> other week but hell the law is so imaginary and made up that what they do is they write laws about what this other guy calls bad behavior they're not laws you're breaking they're just you're exhibiting what's basically socially unacceptable behavior a paper crime victimless crime you had a ounce of cannabis and you're a threat to society because there was a school just 400 miles from where they stopped you and you could be going to that school to sell drugs to little kids so now, what you've got is position and intent and all the ad and ad and ad. I've watched all this shit on TV. I know all about it. But, you know, it's a victimless crime. But if you convince people that these things are bad and they're dangerous and look at all the problems we have because of it, well, then they'll be like Hansel repeating this stupid crap every fucking chance they get dragging you down with their statist statistics about nothing to pretty much prop up a prison system that makes them a shitload of money and even though the money's not real we're not using money we're using credit we borrow everything we touch all of us everybody it's all owned by the Rothschilds and they sell it to us with interest. So, hmm. I don't know. I've tried explaining and talking about it. It very seldom ever gets a comment. It's it's a deep well to dip, you know, dip your wick into there, Johnny. But, uh, hmm. I don't know. There's so much available proof. And here we sit. We're helpless because there's no resistance to the existing game 
the first thing people think about. What would we replace it with? Well, how about nothing? How about not doing it? That might be the answer. I think the being dependent on a entity thousand miles away to make your decisions about how you live is asinine. It's stupid. And they got the young generations convinced global this and climate change and migrants and nobody stops to talk about well if you didn't bomb them out of their fucking homes they wouldn't leave it they'd stay there they go hey i don't want to go to england i want to stay here but no they go hey next thing you know you got people go hey we got nowhere to live no more the americans bombed it to smithereens and somehow this is the magic part no matter where you go, America didn't do anything to nobody. They're the victim of refugees they created because they were slapping a little democracy and some people that really didn't fucking want it. But their leaders wanted was the uh, hydroelectric plant or the water system. They wanted something. And the United States goes in there and they make these huge billion dollar deals or these poor little countries and then they strap them with this unbelievable debt fractional reserve banking will take care of that in no time at all and boom like a house mortgage but you know a nuclear facility or a dam or a whatever and <laughs> and guess who pays the bill not the leaders not the government the people and <laughs> It's just misrepresented in the press every fucking time. Every time there's a problem that ends up with whoever's on the other side not wanting to agree with the U.S., all of a sudden they're socialists and their their people are at uh, at risk. Then they need to be saved, so we need to go in and kill them all. And right this morning or yesterday, more shit already. They already want to send troops to Venezuela. Cut off the, you know, the Chinese or the Russians and beat them to that hole before they get to it first. <clears throat> yeah. Because, you know, my idea, telling the truth and using proper materials, well, that's for lames and assholes um, that believe in conspiracy theories. And that's where we're at. That's the fucking truth. That's really fucked up. It's not, I guess it is the more, the majority of um, carbon-based life forms that speak English, find it necessary to play this game that we're all in. I, I do. I just don't do it um, traditionally. I find ways, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm right there in the middle of everything, but I'm not tied to it by paper. But I could be. But nah, I don't. I don't really choose that. Uh, I guess it still doesn't make any sense. But anyway, life is something else, man. If you're not enjoying your life, then you're doing something wrong. Okay? There's just too much. There's too much good in life to not be able to, you know, carve out a little spot in the world and get some there's plenty to go around uh, <laughs> the way we behave though is like uh, who's that idiot that quarter was his name testaverde or is that just that was another guy wasn't it? who's this idiot that was super bowling this last week well, well whoever he fucking is i don't know his name but there will be a million you know five ten hundred million other people that think he's something special. You know, because he's got a talent for throwing a ball a long way. Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, it's it's amazing that these guys can do that, and this, that, and the other, but there's something wrong with it to me. I, it seems synthetic. It, hey, cowboy chick. Anyway, yeah, it, this whole 
this whole life that we live, this experience where uh, these people tell you what to do, and if you don't, these other people are going to shoot at you or put you in a jail, or that's not freedom. Whatever we live in, now they've overpopulated us out of freedom. There's no realistic way to to, uh, to engage in any of that anymore. The way it was originally, you know, set up to be done because to do it that way we'd have to go back to the farm you know times have changed and the illusion of being needy on the system works so much better with the internet than without it you wow when we didn't have the internet it was all you know cell phones i was about as close as they could get to tracking you anywhere and uh now we got this crap. And it's good for passing the message on, staying in touch, but it's got its other side. And, you know, the testicles of society that, you know, want to be shoved out in everybody's face to show off and be a big deal, they seem to ruin it for the, you know, the ankles. <laughs> the ankles want to go too, but hey, look at me, look at me. Uh, Everybody's competing, and I'm better than, and you're not this, and you're not that. It's just ridiculous. I don't, I don't know. I've tried to uh, not live that way, but <laughs> still talk that way on the on the chat room. I guess you know we're we're just a bunch of fish in a great big pond, and all. <laughs> Maybe that's all true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I have read enough stuff to confuse me till the end of my days trying to understand anything because it's once you uh, make up your mind and then you decide to go another level then you start getting smaller when you get smaller with things it gets kind of harder not easier the bigger something is the easier it is to understand it the smaller it is for me maybe for you I don't know but I'm the type that the bigger the thing, clearer, smaller. Uh-oh, what is that? And uh, <clears throat> they've, uh, like I was saying earlier, they've they've got eight million laws. I don't know. It's just asinine. It's so fucking overworked. Regulations to how to run a donut shop. If you don't do this this way and do this for thirty seconds and that for ten minutes and. Uh, but hmm, you'll still find people that'll swear up and down how necessary that is because you could go to the place and get some bad food. And that's where they lose the concept of control them with your spending. But we've let corporations get so big that how do you even put a dent into them? Not enough people will get together to say no. I'm not buying that to do anything. Uh, let me see. We have the good news link from the Rob Works. 2.7 million children in the U.S. have a parent behind the bars of the penitentiary. Wow, that's a lot of people, yeah. And, uh, What's the percentage of that two points, well, however million, million people you got in jail are in there for paper um, victimless crimes? And for long terms, too, some of these judges are, you know, they're insane with power. They'll destroy your whole fucking life because you're a habitual pot handler smoker. You owned some. You smoked some. You didn't do anything to anybody. You're a crime smoking cannabis now <clears throat> ah for the world and for all the smoking i've done my whole life i cannot understand how this ever got this far that we even have to discuss it as though it were real but it is you know it's real that <clears throat> some people out there don't know what the fuck is going on uh-oh, I see Vincent and Goober having words on the real liberty. 
media.com chat. I don't know. I'm not so amused by some people as others. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, you do what you can do to entertain your little mind in this life. And I do my best. Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, wow. Vinny's, uh, being a little hot tonight. Hmm. And cowboys jumping into dogpile. I like this show. What program is this? <clears throat> nah, I'm just kidding. Ta I'm just pausing for a toke off the old thing. Hmm. Anyway. I'm still going to stand on... Uh, if we were taught better ways to do all the basic things that we learned as kids maybe that's the difference between uh, the real liberty media dot com and say facebook you know uh, i would hope that people would have the wherewithal to see facebook for what it truly is and persuade their relatives to you know if they want to find them find them on something else Hell, even Skype's better than damn uh, well. Maybe not for the intrusion or the selling your information behind your back. Well, maybe Skype ain't a good idea either. <laughs> all I'm saying is, it seems like there's alternatives, but even most of the alternatives suck. So what that does is it, it pushes you into smaller community where... You're not going to be popular. 8,000 people aren't going to be your friends. You know, but I can um, get a message on the wire just as quickly as I can on Skype. So, hmm, the, the people that are close to me want to, you know, want to chat. That's, that's where they can go. You tell them so. If they don't want to go there, they insist that I go to, what uh, Facebook or Twitter well then I guess they don't want to talk it's not an insult or a problem it's just that shit's bad for us very very bad Windows is very very bad for me it aggravates me I don't like the intrusion so I'm gonna go with lesser of two evils old Linux but you know I found a little problem <laughs> I'm having a trouble remembering and keeping notes right and not just at the end panicking because there's too much to know. Well, I'm going to overcome that by uh, hmm, having somebody show my wife how to do it because she does this stuff for a living. She's just not familiar with this particular software. But she's quick. Me, not so much. Nah. I can... Uh, I can do certain things very well and other things not so good. And my state of mind that I've acquired over life is if I'm not immediately uh, capable of doing something and it requires more attention to pick it up, some reason I'm not interested in whatever it is I'm trying to do and it's harder you know, for me to, to learn. So I try to find a way to get an interest so I can learn it. And I'm going to use my wife as a tool to learn how to use the interwebs. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> when you think about it, it's kind of amusing. But you know, when, I was in, uh, when I was her age, people would come to me because I was, you know, skilled at certain things they couldn't do. And I think it's the age thing, too. Uh, it's more her lifestyle she's been on the internet more than me in her life she does it at work blah 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 but <laughs> i still do jigsaw puzzles so you know the internet's got its charm and it's fun and it's entertaining and all that but i like a distraction that i can have a finished product as a uh, end result that's the word for it um not everything. I mean, sometimes I like to fritter and waste time and play video games and do nothing in particular and just relax. But there's still that artistic side kicking around. And I like, and lately, because we've got all these walls 
and I thought, man, I can do this in my, because I'm housebound in the winter, I can't be bothered just to go the, to the uh, train in the store is enough. <laughs> and it, it, with or without a car, it would still be the same nasty, rainy, you know, wintry weather, ah, walking through it, driving through it, it's all the same to me. I mean, that uh, that 15 minute walk in a car is what you can make 10 minutes off. Then you got to park the car. Then you got to get out of the car and get wet and go in the store. So, where's the advantage to driving? I mean, for me, not for everybody else. I mean, some people live further away from where they're at. I, I've been there, I've done all that. I understand it. And I know I always nag about the driver's license and all the, the traps in life, but man, it, at least if you know the truth about them, you know, participating in it blindly, that's the part that bothers me is the the citizen, you know, the voter, the guy that thinks all this stuff is for his benefit and, you know, has a clean record. He hasn't been randomly arrested for, you know, smuggling foreigners up his ass into Tijuana yet but you never know I mean life is chock full of surprises <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just playing around in a way I'm I am and I'm not because it, it was never whatever it is now is a direct result of progress progress based on fear of the enemy and you gotta have an enemy and if you don't have an enemy then what do you got to live for who would you kill if you didn't have an enemy <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again isn't that right precious uh you know all that tv stuff and wow well, they've just done a such a complete numbing down of uh, the human mind and we can't talk about this amongst ourselves like as as though it's common knowledge yet it's still buried underneath uh, the science techie well they haven't proven anything oh yeah they have they proved it so long ago and lied about the results for so long that we have a population of people that are running around spewing the exact opposite of what is true and they don't know it. And if you try to argue against them, like Al Gore, he won't debate you. You can't get him to say a... F He's already done it. It's a done deal. The science has been written, fools. Read a book. And that's that's the result of government, okay? Hmm. Now I'm I'm not just imagining this, am I? I mean, this has really happened. Climate change regulation and statute and taxes and these are the plans of the future to punish us financially for using the services available and we're gonna just get collectively fucked well because look it's changing the climate you dumbasses co2 is ruining everything you morons read a book so i can't figure out where's the book that tells you that co2 is bad for you I don't, oh, I don't know. Maybe I must have missed a class or something, but uh, life seemed to be pretty much okay until we had institutions destroying shit like the EPA and the CDC, the AMA, all the year, alphabet groups that Mary likes to call them. But a lot of them, I, I got committed to memory because they're so vile that it's hard not to think about them when I think about all the garbage we're being fed inoculations. Oh, here I go again. You guys are going to get so tired of me. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to give you this inoculation and it's only got a little bit of aluminum and just a little bit of, um, 
what is that other stuff called arsenic <laughs> or well they changed names or they put a different drug in it you know for effect to see what kind of results they're going to get and the, the sad part is the population is so big things are so huge and spread out that the American hospitals can have a thousand people die every day and <coughs> That will just go down in history as business and usual. Everything on schedule here. Nothing to look at. But, you know, 30 people get the measles. And all of a sudden, it's an outbreak. Oh, my God. You better get your inoculation. But if you don't know that the inoculation is what gives you the disease so that you can fight it. Okay, that's one thing, but it's giving you a, a second-hand version. It's a genetic version of the original thing. It's a duplicate. Whenever they add stuff, you know, they get, they're putting duck cum and, you know, moose liver juice and all kinds of weird... Okay, I'm being ridiculous. But they're adding all these things. They're experimenting. And they're putting like 30 and 40 shots into a, up to a two-year-old child. Your body hasn't developed enough to handle this stuff. Yeah, I know you guys know all this stuff. I'm, uh, I'm running to the end, so I'm getting a little melodramatic. <laughs> a little pissed off on, excuse me, the collective stupidity through education. These fools think they have a fucking education. And they're being lied to about it. Everything. They don't know nothing. Dangle that dongle. I'm not sure what that means, but let me ask my wife. <laughs> she always says, oh yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll <clears throat> talk about that for a minute. I think that the uh, the freedom between me and Cirque is very real. You know, uh, not demanding. I don't demand. She don't demand. We're like, uh, if one person's going to go do that, you can do it for two. So if she makes herself coffee, well, by God and country. I get one. And the same goes for her, except she doesn't like my coffee, so I make tea. But if I go to make me some tea, I go, hey, I'm going to make some tea. And little, just drivelly, little boring things like that, that are the foundation of a good partnership. You know, when, uh, especially an old Jewy bastard like me, Oh, yeah, Grim's saying uh, they put in ground up abortus feeder, fetus, I couldn't even read it, so sad. Fetus powder in there, flash somebody for real. Oh, I. there's so many disgusting things that science does. And they baffle the ignorant with bullshit. And they get the intellectuals to deal with a book or they publish something and oh yeah I'll go along with this I get famous I might get into the senate and get to write this crappy law shit I don't know I don't really know for sure how all this stuff has gotten to where the point it's gotten to but I would blame us you know not the government I turn my back on this fucking government and most people give me a bunch of grief about, but it's there. Well, yeah, it's there, but it's imaginary. Please engage it how, you know, there's ways to engage it and there's ways not to engage it. That's all I'm saying. You know, certain documents, all they really are, they tell you it's for this, but it's, it's a way to keep track of you if you decide to work and earn money in their country. And, uh, Wow, it's we're lied to. I mean, why do you think it would matter to a government if you were a convicted felon and then they don't want to give you a passport to go to another country 
that they don't even like, but they don't want you to go there. Why not? What's what's the damn difference? Look at these sitting politicians. How many of them got open charges or like the president? They're all fucking tied up in court with lawsuits from 10 years ago. Uh, <laughs> we got the best backbiter on earth sitting in the White House. And the, the bitch behind him, Pence? Pence makes Trump look like a fucking Obama. You guys, boy, you need to do a little reading. Because hmm. like I said, yeah, I don't believe all this. I don't believe Trump won the popular vote from what I read. And I don't think fuck all of Hillary. But I don't think fuck all of Trump either. I don't think anybody could do this imaginary job that they've, you know, they started out with 13 colonies. Get this? In the beginning? 13. There wasn't 50 states. There's 13 little colonies. It wasn't 300 million people. So how did they, over the time of, of its existence, just borg its way through and assimilate everything in its freaking path and rename it and rewrite its laws and put in its government and just destroy every fucking thing until it was like it is now? <laughs> garbage <laughs> oh man and i say that because if it was run properly none of the problems that we have existing in daily life would be there we would be in utopia but <laughs> the answer doesn't the answer doesn't appeal to the upper echelon it doesn't appeal to the lower echelon so much either Telling the truth is a pain in the balls, you know, because then you're accountable and you're responsible for what you say and do. When you promise people something and you tell them the truth, well, the next time, guess what they expect? <laughs> the truth. So, you know, that's why I'm so free with yes and no. Yeah, I will. No, I won't. There ain't no middle ground about it. I either going to do it or I'm going to put it off until you do it. <laughs> but you know there ain't no promising about it. now sure i'll get to it someday but not today you know because me and grim have uh had our little workout sessions with the uh, linux and i told him tonight i'm going to do it on the on the windows i know how to do that i won't have to take up any of your time write some notes afterward boom 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 everything's done yeah but I still want my Linux, <laughs> so I got to work a little harder, you know. Mm. See, I'm not the only mind control guy out there. I There's so much more to what we have in life than we're taught that it limits the individual, you know. And you can't be in a group in this mindset. It's a singular... Ind you might have... Like me, I got lucky. I got a partner. But if she wasn't an anarchist-minded like I am, we wouldn't We wouldn't be together. <clears throat> I am uh, definitely not average. <laughs> I, don't I don't fit in with people. So, so uh, well, I guess as a result of that, I, I get friends like Vinny and Grimner and, and Rob Orks and Moose Girl and Miss Kate, you know, Meister Brown, electronic friends, if you will. But still, you know, we, uh, we all seem to be looking for the same thing at the same time. And maybe some of us are actually... Uh, Satisfied. See, that's what I. I'm satisfied with the results. I'm not, you know, begging for more. I'm just like, hey, cool. This is great. And uh, it's a decision I made. I I could want more, or I could want. Me and Cirque were talking a couple of weeks ago. She says, "Well, maybe we should get a, a smaller house." And I said, "Yeah." Then when you want to sew something, you could go out in the driveway to do it. <laughs> Instead of having a, a sewing area and a place to keep all your stuff, we just keep it out in the yard and 
run an electric line out there and maybe put up an umbrella up or whatever. And then she said, yeah, you're right. But I was open to it. Sure, you want to do I'll, whatever, you know, I'm okay with whatever she wants to do. I don't care. But I also try to make sense of what is happening because sometimes when you change something, it's not necessary. You think it's necessary because you want something. <laughs> but when you sit down and you talk it out with your partner and you go, wow, that wasn't such a good idea after all, was it? Because shit, lots of things look good on paper. And then you build it and you go, "I, oops, <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Boy, the the notes and the, the measurements look better on paper than they do on the finished product. <laughs> And I've had I've had that happen, learning how to use different materials and experimenting with stuff. Uh, and here I am experimenting with this radio concept and uh, trying to uh, trying to get some information out to and hopefully somebody new came along, maybe not, but that's the goal. Not and not to just drag you guys through my warped sense of perspective every day but you know some of you agree with me and the few that don't well eh. someday sweetheart someday and with that we're going to close 20 percent off thanks a lot to the real liberty media dot com crowd for and their bots for being here to entertain me back <laughs> good lord and then uh we've got what do we got? We've got uh, Thursday night tonight. So tomorrow, Miss Mary has uh, In the Rocket Chair on Friday and Wednesday at 6 o'clock. And on Friday night, she's followed up after that show by Grimner and Moose Girl doing the Freaker's Ball. And then uh, Saturday, I come back and do the Dork Table with Vinny. Vinny had uh, communication problems this week. We had intended to do a show together Tuesday and he couldn't connect we we had glitchy problems I've been having problems all since the new year when uh then Sunday we got Grim comes on with his blues that's b l u e blue and uh plays music for his you know devout followers and then <laughs> He's going to take over the world one anarchist at a time. <laughs> and uh, after that, we played trivia. He gets the trivia going before Hal Anthony on the Behind the Woodshed. And Hal comes on and does his... He does his analytical... Uh, what would you call that? He defines things in his own way, I think. He's very unique, and he calls me a cricket, and I am a cricket, and I'll probably always be a cricket, but if you would have caught me 30 years ago, mister, <laughs> and anyway, then we got Monday night, we got Grimner comes on at 7 o'clock on the East Coast with Grim Leftovers, that's uh, pretty good stuff, His I don't know, I like leftovers, <laughs> And then Tuesday, uh, me and Vinny are supposed to be doing In a Perfect World as a team, but we'll see how things go. Hopefully, we'll be he'll have uh, worked out his communication problem by uh, Saturday, and he'll do a dork table, and we'll be all back to normal. And then Wednesday, like I said earlier, we got Grammy Mary on. In, in flying around in a rocket chair podcast and thanks a lot for playing it along everybody uh, I just felt like rant I didn't have any particular thing to talk about tonight just uh, another weird episode of 20% off so um, the advice I got was keep your pants up your skirt down and walk home in a group later <laughs>